Hello and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. This is episode four. What a ridiculous thing happened at the end of the last one. Do you remember? Yeah, there we go, there's a fight going on. A Bluebeard, I like Bluebeard. Not because he was a mass serial killer who killed all his wives, but because it is Lee at heart, which I think is lovely. Um, I love the fact that the, the voices do carry over, the same voice actors are in both these, and maybe they'll be in the Game of Thrones game and the Borderlands game. Who knows? That'd be exciting. Public service announcement. Let's get this out of the way before we kick off. Watch Dogs is also out today. I'm not sure which video has come out first because I can't see into the future. But I'm going to be putting out Watch Dogs daily. The only time this is going to be different is Saturday the 31st when you're going to get a wolf among us instead. And the Minecraft content, if you haven't already seen that, again, video description, the Minecraft content will still be out on the channel Wednesday and Saturday this week. Wolf will be out every day apart from Wednesday. What I'm going to do is, and if you haven't seen it already, I've been getting Sai, shout out to Sai, um, to put Wolf and Walking Dead episodes out on the website as early access. So it's up to you where you want to watch it, but if you cannot wait and you need a Wolf Among Us episode on the Wednesday, it should be on yogscast.com. So that is the sort of way I'm trying to get around having too much content because uh, three videos a day on the channel would be absurd. If you haven't seen Watch Dogs, you can go and check it out. If you haven't seen Minecraft, you can go and check it out. They're all in the video description. Please do go and have a look because I can guarantee you'll like Minecraft with Nalzi because it's damn good. We're doing witchery. We're working through. We're going to create some spells and curse some people maybe uh, if the magic police don't find us. And Watch Dogs is amazing as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's just everything's amazing. Let us kick off episode four. Previously on The Wolf Among Us. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Big B? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Oh yeah, I let him live. I regret that. It was a good show, but you know. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. That's where the episode ended last time. Who the hell's the queen? I have no idea. Is it the crooked man? But surely the crooked man is male. Like, you know, they've said he about everything else. Big B got shot up. Although my arm's looking better, so we should be all right. Um, yeah, that's a lot of blood, Big B. Oh. What the f Uh. See you around. Oh, it's a nightmare. Oh, thank God. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Oh, no. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. That's not an answer. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long term toxicosis. <laughs> Easy there. Try not to move. What a face, Big B. Oh. oh, Big B. Oh, that's gross. I did not want to see that. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. My arm. <laughs> very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Surely you could. Oh, can you just stop? Stop, Big B. 
Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, I regret this. I regret this now. Why did I say my arm? Oh, no, Bigby, no. No, no. Oh, no, I'm, I've got my hand. For heaven's sake. Oh. See now? That wasn't so difficult, was it? Oh, that was... Oh. That'll do. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. Hi, pig. He won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Uh... Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. <laughs> Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> God, that's disgusting. Big B. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. Go and get yourself a coffee, have a little sit-down, maybe have a shower. I mean, there's some issues going on with your clothing there. Maybe you could go get changed. Hey, Doc, how much longer? For God's sake! Leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Colin, shut up! <laughs> I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Colin, shut the hell up, will you? Yes, that would be helpful. Hopefully Colin's... Yeah, Colin's cool about that. There. All done. Great. Oh, thank God. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Okay, well, that's... that's concerning. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I can still hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. Thanks, Swiney. Swineheart. Although, I like Swiney. Good God. I'm amazed I'm still alive. I mean, obviously, there is. Is that pizza in the fridge? For God's sake, man. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. Thanks. Same to you, Pigface. Pigface McCollin. I'm glad you're not dead. Are you. Oh, she's smiling. She's trying to be nice. Maybe I didn't piss her off too much. You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or. Died, I guess. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Um. It, um. It kind of scared the hell out of me. Uh, oh. I've never seen you like that. Um. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him. He's never worried. And even he thought you were. I don't know. It was just awful. You were really worried about me. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. Oh, Colin! Like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs. Fuck oh, off! Man. You just oh, ruined that. I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? There's well, a serial killer or something. I mean, do you guys have, like, a plan or something? No. And who should I be asking? Uh... Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. 
This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yes. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. That's a good point. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm going to let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yes. It was a split second decision, and I don't care how it looked. She was gonna say something. About that. Giving up Crane to save my skin really made us look weak. That made us look weak? Oh shit. Oh, but not Mary shooting you and holding an axe to your big head. Look. Um, She's got a very good point. Just that we could have done without all the uh, bargaining. She's not happy with me now. The crooked man's gonna think. I don't care what he thinks. It was the only option. Well, that's very sweet of you, Snow. And I didn't mean to come off as a dick. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? Power. I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating. He clearly wants all the power. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town. I'm not sure that's why they've got him. Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Crane Lin was used. Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. Exactly. And what do prostitutes have to do with it? They sleep with the right people, they find out the right information. I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? Right, what, what, do what does that mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Look. Shut up, Colin. I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. Well, it's going to have to be good enough. We do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure you're not. <laughs> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this- I had no, uh, no, no. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? Exactly. There are degrees. What degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit Colin's gets... right here, actually. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> but this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Thanks Colin. Snow's not going to be happy with me. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. Right. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamoured fables Whoa, starting today no, no. have to go and stay at the... Oh, no. give me a fucking break. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's I'm not enforcing that. Oh, no. I'm not enforcing that. Yes, it will. Fuck off. It's an impossible rule to enforce, no. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Well, maybe you should lower the prices of glamours, hmm? Like, we use the witch that I bloody left the tree for. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Buffkin! Fucking Buffkin! Okay. You're a hypocrite! Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Bloody Mary. 
Your mum. Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. Right. What do you think that could be? Are you jealous? She's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She Thank you, Colin. wants to talk about last night. The whole thing at the pudding and pie. Maybe. Maybe. To the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Yeah, I mean, if he's on the drink again, you don't want to be trusting him with the calls. Probably change out of these clothes. Yes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Oh no, it's over, madam. Colin stays. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? No. I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will change her mind. I'm gonna sort her out. Yeah, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Thanks, Colin. Thanks for being so understanding. Now, if you could clean up the blood whilst I'm out, that would be grand. Why am I leaving? Oh, yeah, I'm going to talk to Nerissa, aren't I? I need to sort that door out, because that's... Oh, look, there's an old, old lady in a shoe thing. Alright, let's see what Nerissa bloody wants. Hello. 